Good there? Okay, stay there. Stay there. Hmm? Oi, 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 oi! Who did that? <laughs> you idiot, Jesse! <laughs> Oh, come on. Where you go? Hello and welcome to the second episode of Railroads Online. Today, we actually have a new person. Now, this new person is Cormac. Um, he's currently muted, um, unfortunately. Hang on, which one are you? Okay, one of these two gorgeous gentlemen is Cormac. I think it's this one. Yeah, I jumped out of the way, didn't I? Mm, oh, okay, maybe I it's pronounce... not. Um, I and... now pronounce you husband and husband. <laughs> okay. And the other one, this 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 skits that's running around, this is Jess. A... I'm going to derail the train again. No, no, no Cormac. Cormac, Cormac. Come over here. Um, I'll show you how to use the train. So, first... <laughs> stop mucking around, Jesse. So, first of all, you got the big the big thing in the centre... Um, is is the boiler. The bottom of it, there's a hatch. You lift that hatch up, it opens. Then you can grab some wood from the side, pick up all the wood, and throw it in the hatch. Like that. Then, once we close the hatch, um, the big bar above the hatch that you put the wood in is the regulator. It goes on a bit of an angle. Um, if you pull that towards you, which please don't do now, um, it will, okay, it will start making the train move in whatever direction is set by the reverser. The reverser is the next thing, it's, if you're facing the regulator, it's to the right. Um, that bar you set as either forwards or backwards. At the minute, it only does forwards and backwards, but in real life, it would be used to, uh, once you got up to speed, and you got a little bit of momentum, you put it closer to the centre, and it would make you more efficient on steam. The bar behind it is the brake. Pretty self-explanatory. The brake is on at the minute. Now up on top there's the whistle. And of course the bell over here. Other things on the train that you probably don't have to worry about is to the right of the boiler is a little handle. That's the cylinder cox. Currently, it doesn't do anything apart from look pretty in the game, but in real life, um, it's uh, used to make sure there's no water in the in the pistons. Plus, there's the sander, which is being moved. Um, the sander as well uh, that puts sand onto the tracks. The tracks, and gives yeah, you more grip. it's pouring out. It's pouring out. Cormac, stop yeah. wasting the sand. Gives you more grip. Um, sand is precious in this game. Okay. Uh, Looks like someone's placed a where like a, a shed. I didn't do that. Uh, that, 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 anyway. that, that, that. So, cool, totally uh, wasn't. so in this episode, I haven't actually quite told you, told everyone what what's happening. I'm, I'm what this world I'm on at the minute. I have used some cheats to get infinite XP and infinite money using the mini Zwerg map editor, which I will put a link in the description below. Um, but first, uh, well, what we're going to be doing this episode is we'll be trying to put trains under the map. Now, you might have seen one of Heiss's live streams where he does this. Um, it's to do with the re-railing re glitch that Farmer um, discovered. Uh, and that's what we're going to be using today. Um, just the only thing is, is first, we need to test if Cormac really can drive this train. So bring her we, forward. Bring her forward. I want to test it. Uh, no, leave it. Leave it. Leave my beautiful. I, I lined it. No, I've aligned no, it. No, we have to remove it. it. We'll move this uh, facility. Flick the switch over. We can get the train on the road. This is a test map, so it's not quite uh, not the best track. I mean, it's not meant to be good track. It's meant to be for testing. So really, it's meant to be bad track. But I told you not to full rag it, Cormac. We've got to... Uh, we haven't actually really prepared anything for this episode, it's so only at it's going to be a bit of a... It's going to be a bit of a... Well, whatever goes. Um, okay, bring her up, bring her up. Woo! That was a hard hit. Yeah, she's linked, she's now, linked. Do you want to go ahead? 
They forgot to put a speed limit on one thing. They forgot to put a speed limit on the hand car. So the hand it car takes a long time to get up to speed, but, well, it gets up to a lot of speed. So I'm hoping, just hoping, if we can get it under the map, we might be able to exploit that speed. Maybe. Maybe. Might be able to exploit that speed and go very, very far. Okay, this is something new. There are two of me currently in this game. Here we've, yeah, got, here we've got Cormac. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome, Nathan, for dropping you. You're welcome. We've got, we, we've got Jesse. We've got Connor. And See you've you, got lads. two of me. Oh, who no, dropped stop, me? Stop, stop. Radio, so here's the first take. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Um, first take, putting the Porter Tier 2 in. Um, we were going to do the... We're going to do the original Betsy, but let's just say oh, dropped someone it. dropped me a little bit early. <laughs> yes, and then also we got another double Nathan. We've got two Nathans in the game. Yeah, there's two of me now. But besides that, I just need to try and get in. By the whistle as you're going in. By the whistle. How? Come oh, please I'm don't tell me you were right. Let me go back in. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Brake. Oh. I hate how you can't. The brake doesn't work when you're doing re rail glitch. Uh, it seems the foundation uh, is not quite right in the right place. Hang on okay. A sec. Wait. 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 Almost. The, the foundation doesn't seem to be quite in the right place, but fingers crossed. Okay. Drop. We're in. Okay, I'm we're under the can map. Right, right here. Let me uh, re rail. Well, actually, no. I, I need. I might. I wonder if I can. Oh, shit. I jumped out accidentally. So I've put in a little bit more of a. A um, little bit more of a platform, I'd call it. Just inside. Inside the under the map. <laughs> um, and it's designed so that, well. You can't fall off too easily. Just uh, what needs to be done now is we need to get a bigger train and use that. Push it. We need to push it with the uh, Betsy 2, the Porter Tier 2. Uh, and only push it enough so that the wheels don't go outside the hill. But you can hop into it. I went under the floor of it. Cool. Okay, I'm re railing it. Just hop out. Just nudge that. The thing with this is you have infinite momentum and the brakes don't work. So you have to, you want to go really slow. Yeah, and you have to use the reverse. Yeah. Into the hillside I go. Me press right mouse button. No, not yet. I'll tell you when. Now, Jesse had to go for the minute. Although, uh, what kind of one of our goals while we're here under the map is to actually get to all those things down there. Um, that's, I believe, uh, the texture files, like foundation and I believe that box is a tree although I haven't heard much more so kind of the goal is to try and get to them let, let me do something Break. Uh, how do I get out here there we go da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 wow no. <laughs> okay.
Can you hop in the train? Can you hop in the train? Uh, trying to. Press F. Good lord, it's not on me. It is not on me. You have me. to look at the uh, floor. Can you see the floor? Ah, uh, nah. I can't see the okay. floor. I just see the roof and the boiler. There we go. There we are. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Welcome to the underworld. Welcome to the underworld. I love how you got a little porter I love how you got a porter chat trailing a uh taking a DNG uh DNGR class of me. DN a D DN Oh I can't even say it now. Is it DNGR or DNRG? DNRG 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 So we've worked out the the Eureka doesn't work. The wheels are too close to the uh, to the back. Um, so the only two trains that will work for getting other people in is the DNRG Class 70 and the Cook Mogul. Now be careful, Cormac, not to fall off. The Underworld, boys. We can call it the Underworld. Called Hell. <laughs> call it Hell. That, 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 it was already named before we named it. Oh, we can call it the Pit of Despair. Yes, the pit of despair. Have fun storming the castle. Oi, oi, boys. And technically, if you fall off it, technically there is a machine that takes your life in there called falling off. The pit of despair. <coughs> Welcome to the pit of despair. <laughs> Welcome to the princess bride. <laughs> when I came home uh, from the sleepover, right, I said, "Oh, mum, we watched the Princess Bride," and my mum looked at me and she said, "You fucking poofs." <laughs> <laughs> you sure have to cut that out, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it funny? That's hilarious. <laughs> Fingers crossed. What the idea is, is I found out with that, with that foundation at the bottom that was almost at those sort of crazy weird tracks that are somewhere at the bottom of the map, um, that, uh, that those tracks are slightly lower than the lowest you can go, which is quite unfortunate, um, because we can't actually do anything then, um. So it's a bit of a bit of a dam, but at least we know. Though one other thing we have to do is we have to. What another thing I want to do? I want to get down there, and when I'm down there, apparently there's a box with a tree in it. Now that box and tree is the texture for all the other trees. I want to investigate that, see if that can be exploited or what can be done. So now for the thing that I actually promised I would do in the last episode that we're doing now is testing out the hand cart. Now, I haven't really thought this through. I don't even know if it's going to make it up this hill. But anyway, we're going to have to... See, so it is seemingly making up this section, but this section was flat at the start. So it's not going to make it up that, so I'm going to have to skip forward to the next part. Though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a on-rail speed test. I want to see, uh, it's not the straightest or flattest track, it's just something I whipped together um, in about 30 seconds. But... I want to test uh, how fast the hand car can really go when it's um, when it's on rails, because there isn't a speed cap on it. Um, the only thing that might happen is I'm expecting it to bug out the physics and fly off the track. Now the DNRG class 70 is what we've been using for the 
entrance portal, as I call it, or the Denver and Rear Grand, I think it could be, I'm not certain. Um, and after I do this test, which seems quite boring so far, I'm going to do a re-railed handcart speed test for the end of the video. Um, it's uh, when it's very loud, of course, it can blend through the map, so I'm hoping I will be able to um, travel very, very far. Oh, don't jump through. Man, that was a close call. <laughs> Almost just flew through. My head's popping through the side of through the map, but if I reverse her up. We should, hopefully, I don't... Oh! Looks as if my player's stuck there. Well, never mind. <laughs> so now what while I'm... you're over the void. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing the uh, flying speed record. I was going to say land speed record of the hand car, but of course I'm not on land, although I am under land. So I'm not quite sure how that fits into the technical rule book. Though, I think it's time to go. Might be off to a slow start. It should pick up speed pretty soon. Because there's no rolling resistance. There's, I don't believe there's really any weight on it. Although, um, and of course I've found out that the brakes don't work even if they're on a hundred percent when you're doing the re-rail glitch um you, you can already see that it's very very fast faster than the texture files can load or oh, i'm phasing through the map here let's see I'm, i might run almost into the into the lumber mill <laughs> gonna be close um Looks like it's got a big stone thing under it. That might be cool to come back and have a look at again later. Uh, I don't quite know how fast it's going. There is other third party uh, mods you can get for the game that uh, give you speed trackers and all sorts of stuff like that. So you can work out how fast you really are going and I don't think I need a speed tracker to tell that I'm going incredibly fast. I'm kind of curious what will happen when I hit the side of the map though. The side of the map doesn't look like it's too far away. Wow, the wheels look like there's some trivial forcing out. That's, that's a bit weird. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen, I mean, if it was a human pumping that, oh, here's the edge, going past the wall. If it was a human pumping that fast, they must be, well, the only person who could do that would be Arnold Schwarzenegger. But even then, very, very fast. When are we going to explode? I reckon we're going to explode, but I don't quite know. The map looks so small when you're traveling so fast and you're so far away. I can't wait until they add new and bigger maps, or even an expansion to this current map. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Though, well, just for QMA, the lead developer, that's that's a lot of work. I, I don't envy how much he has to do. I am surprised we haven't hit the border yet. Um, I do know for certain that you can't build this far out, but there should also be a set rail car limit to somewhere. I'm expecting to hit it any second. The wheels are almost invisible now, <laughs> blending out of existence. Making a fair bit of a racket, going super, super fast. The, the hand car actually accelerates until it's... Uh, the, the hand car accelerates infinitely because it has no 
no stop to it and it has no max speed. My game just crashed. Okay. That could be something to do with me being very, very far away. <laughs> it probably crashed because I'm the host and you are not even slightly loaded. Um, I... Probably. I don't even know if I'm still moving. I know it's spinning, but the map's so far away it looks stationary. Still the nothing. <laughs> I've been travelling for ages and haven't run into any form of barrier to stop me. Map's definitely getting further away. Oh, there we are. I think I jinxed myself. I've, I've hit some barrier. I no longer oh. can turn my head. What if I put it in reverse? Let's see what happens then. Everything seems to have frozen. Am I able to hop out? Have you crashed? It's hard crashed my game. I've hit the head. I've, oh. I've hit the dead limit. Well, I found name. I've found my name too. <laughs> oh, I found your name too. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> I, I should get kicked out. Short. I'll get kicked out shortly. I. Shortly. I don't know. Well, I think that's a fitting end to the video. Um. Maybe next episode we might go back and work on the original world. Uh, although that's, <laughs> I think that's about it for this episode. Of, I think I think it's a bit over time already. <laughs> the last episode was a bit too long too. But, well, anyway, um, say goodbye to Cormac. <laughs> Bye, Cormac. See ya, boys. <laughs> See ya, boys. And I think that's me over. Thank you for watching. And. Play Railroads Online.